a man stuck in traffic. He hits the brake, the engine shuts off. The light turns green, it starts again, just like that. Sounds normal, right? But some people say this feature ruins your engine, kills your battery, and wastes fuel. The truth? Those are just myths. Today, we're busting the five biggest lies people still believe about the auto start-stop system. And by the time we hit number one, you'll see this system in a whole new way. Thrust five, it damages the battery. This one's a classic. People say, all that stopping and starting must kill the battery. But let's get this straight. Modern start-stop systems are way smarter than that. They don't even activate unless the battery is at least 70% charged. If your car thinks the battery can't handle a restart, it simply won't shut off. And there's more under the hood. These systems use intelligent sensors that constantly check battery health and load. If they detect that your battery is weak or aging, they deactivate the feature entirely, long before the battery gives out. So if your start-stop suddenly stops working, it's not breaking down. It's warning you. And here's a tip. Grab a multimeter and test your battery. If it's under 12 volts, it's time to replace it with an AGM or EFB type made for start-stop systems. Anything less and you're setting yourself up for trouble. What's worse, many drivers don't even know they're using the wrong battery. It's not just about voltage, it's about chemistry, plate design, and recharge cycles. The right battery turns this system from a headache into a silent helper. Now, you might think, fine, the battery's safe. But surely this can't be good for fuel economy, right? Let's see about that. Pro 4. It wastes more fuel than it saves. Imagine this. You're sitting idle at a red light for 10 seconds. Seems harmless, right? But in that time, your engine burns enough fuel to drive the length of a football field. That's the truth. Start-stop systems fix this waste. They shut down the engine during idle moments, like when you're waiting in traffic, for just long enough to save meaningful fuel. Tests show a reduction of up to 7.27% in typical urban driving, and in heavy traffic, up to 26.4%. You might say, but doesn't it take fuel to start the engine again? It does, but it's a tiny amount, a drop compared to what idling burns. Real-world tests by Consumer Reports and Edmunds show consistent gains in fuel efficiency across every vehicle tested with this system. Even pickup trucks benefit. A Ford F-150 can save 90 gallons of fuel per year with start-stop enabled. That's a full tank every few months, free. In dense cities like New York or Mumbai, where idling is constant, the savings are even greater. Multiply those saved gallons by millions of cars, and you're looking at a global shift in emissions reduction, just from a small feature. So now we know it saves fuel and protects the battery. But what about performance? Chuck 3. It causes dangerous delays at green lights. You're stopped at a red light. Your foot's on the brake. The light turns green, and your engine needs to start again. Sounds like a delay, right? Wrong. Modern systems are lightning fast. As soon as your foot lifts from the brake, the engine is already roaring to life. In fact, many systems complete the restart in just 0.3 seconds, faster than your foot can hit the gas. You don't feel it. You don't wait for it. It's instant. Plus, the system adapts. If you brake hard, signaling urgency, it may not shut off at all. It's designed to be seamless, automatic, and invisible. If you feel hesitation, it's probably not the start-stop system. It could be a worn throttle body or a different engine issue entirely. So no, it's not holding you back. It's working with you. Still skeptical? Maybe you're thinking this feature was only meant for hybrids. Two, it's only for hybrid vehicles. Let's bust this one wide open. The first car with a start-stop system wasn't a Tesla. It wasn't even a Prius. It was the Toyota Crown in 1974. Since then, gasoline cars have used this feature for decades. The 1983 VW Polo had it, and today, over half of all new gasoline vehicles include start-stop systems as standard. Not hybrids, regular cars, big trucks, SUVs, even muscle cars, 
That includes vehicles like the Jeep Wrangler, Dodge Charger, and yes, the mighty Ford F-150. And guess what? Those trucks benefit most. Why? Because large engines waste more fuel when idling. A Silverado driver can save up to $500 a year just by letting the system do its thing. So no, it's not just a hybrid thing. It's a smart thing. But here's where the myths get real dangerous. Number one, it damages the engine over time. This is the big one, the myth that refuses to die. People believe frequent restarting grinds down the engine, shortens its life, and causes early failure. Let's look at the facts. Most of the wear on your engine happens at cold start, when the oil hasn't circulated yet, and metal rubs against metal. That's the real enemy. But start-stop doesn't kick in during cold starts. It only works when the engine is warm and lubricated. So when it restarts, the oil is flowing, the surfaces are coated, and there's no damage done. Modern starter motors are brushless and often liquid-cooled in high-end cars. Some even use dual battery systems to handle the load. This isn't guesswork. It's engineering built on decades of testing. Engineers expect these systems to last longer than the car itself. Modern engines are also built differently. Reinforced bearings, stronger starter gears, high-end lubricants. These systems are designed for over 300,000 start cycles. That's stopping at a red light 10 times a day for 80 years. Still worried? Even luxury brands like BMW, Audi, and Mercedes use start-stop in their performance models. Do you think they'd risk their reputation if it hurt the engine? Didn't think so. And here's a pro tip. If you're still worried about wear, use a high-quality synthetic oil. It flows 38% faster at low temperatures, reducing friction and extending engine life. Plus, in most cars, the feature can be switched off manually, though why would you want to? Now let's wrap this up. Start-stop isn't just a quirky feature, it's a sophisticated, adaptive system that saves fuel, protects your engine, and helps the environment. The myths, they're just noise, outdated, misunderstood, and flat-out wrong. Still not a fan? That's fine. There are ways to disable it if you want, like memory modules or ECU tweaks. But don't do it out of fear. Do it because you know the facts. And now, you do. So the next time someone complains that their car shuts off at the light, you'll know better. You'll know the dirty truth about auto start-stop and why it might be one of the smartest features your car has. It's time we gave smart tech the credit it deserves. Because when myths die, smarter driving begins. And if saving fuel, cutting emissions, and extending engine life is a myth, I'll take two. Like content that tells you what others won't? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never get stuck with outdated car myths again.